Oh, that look good right there. Hold on. Mm. Oh, man. Look at that right there. Mm. Like I'm out angling myself. What? What is your boy Mac doing? Oh, my God. What is he on? Nothing but protein, good eating, hard lifting. Welcome back to Best Man Made. I'm your guy, Mac. It's been a while, I know, since I've talked about style and about accessories in particular, but today I have the accessory to tell you all about. Here's the thing. First, before I even get started, before I even bring this to the show, let me, let me ask you something. What does June 18th mean to you? I'm going to give you a second. June 18th is Father's Day. I know. Fellas, we always get this day overlooked. Ladies, please give your man something for Father's Day. Do, do something special. It ain't, ain't going to be nothing you buy for him, but just do something special for him. Because Father's Day is just one of those kind of days. I mean, everybody knows Mother's Day, you know, right? It ain't nothing but a month later. It's Father's Day. Mother's Day, everything goes on. You know, graduations, you go home, you see mom, you have a great time. Father's Day, we'll let you sleep a little bit longer in the bed. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But whether you are out there shopping for your man for Father's Day, whether you're watching this video after Father's Day and it's Valentine's Day coming up, or whether it's like Christmas or his birthday, whatever day it is, people, today I'm going to give you an accessory, a men's accessory that's absolutely vital to his swag. Something that will step his swag up to a whole nother level. What am I talking about? Well, you gotta wait and see. Roll it. All right, so like I said, style is something I just haven't had a chance to talk much about lately. I mean, maybe today I'm just kind of chilling in my, my nice, I don't even know where I got this joint from. I can't even see the tag, I don't know. Maybe you can see it, let me see where it's at. Divided. I think that's an H&M shirt. So yeah, I don't. I mean, right now, I mean, you know, I'm just rocking a little basic H&M. I heard that this is the color that you definitely want to rock. I mean, you know, you can't help but see it in every freaking store. But anyway, I digress. When it comes to style, there's a few pieces that a man should have in his arsenal, right? But there's one thing in particular that any man, I don't care what kind of job you do, where you are in life, there's something in particular that every man has. I'm sure you already know what it is, but let me go ahead and give you a quick scenario. Let's say, for example, you out and about, you know, you you, you out, you out, you having a good a good night on the town with your lady. Let's say it could be your wife, it could be your girlfriend, whatever. You look nice. Let's just say you look nice at this, at this particular, you know, venue, this event where you're at. You're nice restaurant. You know, you sit down, you're having a drink, you're chopping it up. Things are looking really good. Now. Before we get to the end of that promise at night, you have to come and uh, pay the bill, right? You know, so the, so the guy behind the bar or whatever, you know, hey man, here's your bill, you know, go ahead and knock it out, okay, bet he leaves. Now, here's where that accessory comes into play. You already know what it is. You come up, you pull out your wallet. Here's the thing. The wallet game is an interesting thing. I'm going to tell you why. Without people really thinking about it, Something about your wallet says a lot about who you are, where you are in life, and how you even see your money. Now, money, I'm going to tell you, I mean, we already know. Money is a very important thing, male or female. I don't care how you look at it. If your finances are right, you pretty much got a decent type of wallet. Now, I can't really say that. My old man was a you know, great guy. You know, he had his stuff together. Uh, very hard work, an awesome job. You know. um, but the thing about it is he had an old crummy wallet. This was a different time and age. My dad, you know, older guy. I mean, this is in 2017. Right now, you can't be a guy with one of those old school, fat, thick, you know, cheeseburger looking wallets, man. The kind of you got to open and flip open like that. You know what I'm talking about, right? That wallet. Trust me, I had that wallet as of last year. I really did. Everywhere I went, I had to go pay a bill. Okay, yeah, I got it real quick. Pull it out. You know, gotta, gotta like, you know, fish through, find the right card, couple bills in the way. Maybe you, maybe you got too many bills in there at the time, right? Because you feel like you got this big open flap. You got to put some bills in it, right? So you, so you got all these bills and your wallet, you have to compress it. You put that bad boy down. You know, you, you, you pay the, the daggone bill. 
Now I gave you all that to say, look at that process, look how long that even takes. Getting the wallet out, finding the right car, or oh you know I got some cash, I'm gonna pay the cash. All that's a long process. And it's like you're fumbling with your finances. But I'm gonna tell you where to look a little more confident, have a little more swag about your style. We were in LA, we went shopping in some, some uh, mall in LA, right? And I saw this uh, this little stand that had a lot of different wallets on it. I was like, oh, let me check these wallets out. Go up to it, kind of nice little thing to it. I was like, yo, that wallet is pretty freaking ill. That wallet happened to be the secret wallet. Now, secret, hold up. Oh, man. I'm going to let y'all hear this real quick. Real quick. Kill. My guy, Mackie. What's up, bro? You hear that? That right there is my homie Kill right now. Even though we are filming Best Man Made, he has no idea. All he knows is that he is right here on the phone. Wait, is this going to be a phone number? Nah, his phone number ain't showing. This is my guy right here. Let me see. There he is. Damn right there. Right. You hear that? Damn right. What's going on, man? You you damn, uh, you, you shooting the episode? Shooting the episode right now, my guy. Shit, man, say no more. Right. <laughs> man, listen. Man, listen, Kill. I know we got to talk business, so I'm going to hit you back, bros. All right, say no more. I'll let you in a bit. You don't find too many guys like that in life. This is this, There's only a few you're going to get like that. And let me tell you, when you get those kind of guys in your life, man, you got you to gotta take care of your boys. Right? Your boys got your back. You might be getting jumped or something. They're going to come in swinging. But they might come in. But, you know, that's a different, that's a different story. We're not, we're not going to put that out there. We back on wallets right now. Let's focus on that, okay? So anyway, where was I? Right. You out, you paying the bill, you got all this stuff going on, really, right? Pull out the dollars. You might not play with the dollars, but my point is, instead of pulling out that big old fat cheeseburger wallet, that honestly in today's time does not work for guys. I'm going to tell you why it doesn't work. It's not so much the old school wallet. It's the concept that that right there does not fit in today's pants. Today's pants, I mean, hey man, listen, I'm not such a fan of the skinny jean look. In fact, I can't even put my thigh in the skinny jean, okay? But a lot of times, if they're not skinny, they're going to be slim. It's just the way it is. They don't make any more. And I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. You don't need to have baggy, oversized pants. That, that look is dead and gone, which is fine. Uh, I just hope, you know, you've got your lift on or something. You get a little size on you. But, but right now, you can't put a wallet that thick into your pants. And guys, you know what I'm talking about. So there's a problem. And I'm going to tell you, the secret wallet, now listen, this thing right here, let me see if you can see that right there. Can you see that right there? Hold on one second. Let me see if you can see that word right there. There you go. Boom. All right. The secret wallet, the cool thing about it is it's got this, uh, This you can see I kind of scuffed that bad boy up, which I actually like. That's like a worn, good worn look, right? So this is the, um, I think they call this one the vintage brown leather. Nice. Uh, I got the little, the little, little open part right here, right? Open that bad boy up. Check this out. This is where you could put like an ID. I have my ID and my other one. I'll show you that. Um, you can put like another little card here. You know, it's kind of basic right here. This is where all your cash would go. You got cash, you fold it up, smack it in there. Not a problem, right? But this little situation right here, this is the key. You shuffle all your cards in there. Four cards. Four cards. This is, this is, the, this is the mini wallet. All right, the mini wallet holds about four cards in it, um, but it's really dope because once you put the cards in there, close the bad boy up, this little lever right here shoots them right out. Let me show you how that works. All right? Bam! This one right here is the Black Nile version, the Black Crocodile, the Black Crocodile Dundee, the Down and Under, the, the I'm going to go out there and fillet me something dope and make a wallet out of it. How about a man's man? That's that's that don't it don't get more man's man. It don't get more more brolic than that. This joint, all right, same situation, right? Like I said, you open it up. Got my walk, got my license right there. I ain't gonna pull that up because you know, got my little my face on there and everything. Got my health care, you know, card in there. And you can see even see it right there. Look at it. Look how they got secret right there in that black and white. Look how look how smooth that look. Hmm. Now. Like I said about the lever, right? The lever action at the bottom. Pull that up. Bam. You got your cards all right there. You don't have to sit there and fumble through it all in there and all that stuff. Don't want it? Slide it right back down. 
Not a problem, right? Boom, 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 boom. Simple, clean and effective. Think about it like this, right? You out? I gotta take my lady out. I take my lady out. You know, show her a good, good time, right? We got, we gotta pay a bill. Okay, boom. Oh, I got it. No worries, no worries. I got it. Yeah. Pull out your wallet. Mmm. I think I'm going to use this one right here. Boom. Took that. Got it back. Okay. Ready to go. Put that bad boy right back in your pants. You're good. You paid the bill. You made moves. And you look stylish while you did it. One thing I forgot to mention. The reason why this wallet is so much better is because of the size of it. Now, these are two separate wallets, okay? I don't even have my old wallet. Actually, I think when I got this bad boy, I honestly tossed it. I made it do cartwheels in the wind. You get what I'm trying to say? They were gone. I didn't, I didn't want to see that thing again in life. Okay? Because I'm not going to use that anymore. Secret right now is the only thing I'm using. Now, again, this is not a paid advertisement. I'm just giving you what I know. Okay, people? I'm not going to stay and lead you astray. This is something your boy Mac uses effectively. Now, I would say the two colors you need to get... Brown vintage leather, black Nile crocodile. Difference in price, 90 bucks, 110. But it's a wallet. How many times do you get a wallet? I bet your crummy ass wallet right now that you got more than likely costs under $50. Not a problem, don't feel bad about that. That's okay, it's a wallet, right? You're being frugal. So if you wanna go in and get it, you wanna get your swag right, you wanna get your style, go in and look, spring for a new wallet, step your game up. Who really carries around more than $150? If you carry around more than $150, you are a target. Somebody's going to get that guy. If they, if they try to rob me, they ain't going to get your number. Practice. You know what you're going to do? Take some cards and I'm about to go ahead and cancel. You're going to be tracked using? Not a good move. Your boy Mac is ready for that. So I'm just trying to tell you is, if you got more than $150, bucks, 200 dollars I think, top, that's all you need. $200 cash, you should be able to take care of anything you need, right? Gas, a meal that you think you got to go get. Even if you gotta pay somebody else's way, if you buy more than that, you you're not you you're thinking you, it's not a good move, it's not a good look. You just use your card. That's all you need cash for. Even if you get into like a little bit of a fender bender, don't want to use your you know don't want to use your insurance or something. Twenty dollars, man, people good. They walk, they move on. Twenty dollars will go ahead and take care of a lot of things. So I'm just saying, whatever you do right now, get out there, do it in do it in style, right? Have some swag with it. Have some type of some type of presence. It's not just a thing about paying a bill. It's about how you feel when you're paying. Mmm. Oh, your boy Mac is giving you dimes. I love it. Now you could instead get a bunch of dollar bills. You know, all crumpled up. You know what I'm saying? And just stuff it in your pants. And you go out there, you gotta pay. You gotta sit there and fold it out like origami. And be like, okay, one, two. Three. That's what little boys do. And as we all know, right here, right now, on Best Man Made, boys are born, but men are made. We'll see you next time. <laughs>